Today I am going to show you how I do my recordings. Um, right now I am using a Cam Studio, it is three, free, uh, tongue twister, which is a free, you can just type it in and download it. Now, for this video I am doing 640 by 380 so that uh, this is YouTube's uh, widescreen deep uh, settings. Uh, you can, it, the ratio is 16 to 6 or 9, one of them. For my recordings of my games I do 500 by 440 which fits uh, good for what I do. And for my uh, video options I have XVID MPEG-4. You can either use XVID MPEG-4 codec or FFD show which I highly recommend this one but you can use that one as well. But when I recorded with that, yeah, you just I can't show you the settings for some odd reason. Um, yeah, I'll show you the settings here. Um, have this on to unrestricted single pass. If you select it to one of these, it won't work because uh, what two pass does it gets the original video which which you haven't which you're doing right now which hasn't been saved and converts it and goes over it again to make it high quality. So you have to use a, uh, something else. Uh, confusing. I don't know how to speak somebody. Uh, the bitrate depends how much your uh, well as it says the target IV bitrate, file side or quarterizer which means that uh, the bigger it is the bigger file but the best quality. Right now I'm using a 1533 you can go to 1300 which is pushing it or well as high as you like really. Now if you just installed this which is free as well XVID is free you can also um, and use it here. You'll, there'll be a box that pops up, which will be, well, this. It will be ticked. Untick it. That's what makes the error will appear. Uh, I sound a bit confusing, I know, but you will see it if you do get it. And then for FFD Show Codec, I use, um, which I as a highly recommend as well. My encoder I use is H.264, and whatever this is, 4 CCs is a uh, X624 and one pass as I said before with uh, XVID uh, if you do anything else one of these two it plays up uh, doesn't really matter about the bitrate I've tested it but the lower you go or make the video a bit grainy but not by much so I just stick it at a thousand all these other settings decoders and stuff you don't really have to worry about okay uh, for this uh, I use the default auto adjusts because other people you might say do, do something else like somebody will change this to 30 but for me when I do that my video and audio desync and I don't know how to fix that so I just use the auto adjust these ones here which make my audio and video stay the same okay now uh, for my how I record my the game volume and my video vo the microphone volume I select record audio from speakers and then I change it a bit. I go to um, audio options for speakers, I just playback volume. Now normally this will be muted and I'm going to continue talking and mute it and you won't be able to hear me. And that's how it's gone. See you just talked randomly and you didn't hear a thing. Now um, this year once you did that it should work perfectly. I, I lower my lower you should do some test recordings to see if you uh, if you go to a certain pitch if it does a squeaky noise if it does lower the volume as mine does sometimes then you yeah, select uh, enable auto pan if you're doing like a tutorial or something but if you're doing a recording don't which is very annoying sometimes because that cause I accidentally leave it on uh, but I don't do tutorials anyway um, recording thread depends yeah if your recordings are a bit slow or uh, if they are a bit if they lag a bit uh, normal is just normal above normal is kinda what I recommend but for now I'm just using normal highest time critical will really take up the CPU's uh, thing so it will really be jittery now then after you do recording you will have to uh, convert it because the file size will be around 100 to 200 depends what your bitrate is or maybe more now um, what I use is, oops sorry, free software again, you, very good software as well, Media Coder. Now this year, 
is free as well. It's very handy, and I'm going to show you why. I've got a test recording here. Now, watch this part here. Scanning bitstream. That is what helps makes your video high quality without being without having the HQ button down there, which this video will be as well. So, now what makes this video what YouTube decides would be high quality button or high quality without it high quality? You know, is this the bit rate? <clears throat> now, as you see, this is the total bit rate of your file, and this is your video. Now you can see a difference here. This is all you need. This is just excess, and YouTube sees this excess and says, "Okay, it's too much." So uh, they're going to make it um, lower quality and have the high quality button there if you need it. So I wouldn't recommend it. Now for now with this year, put this bit rate in here. Okay, five eight nine one. I've I've already have it there because I did a previous test and I made a mess. So um. Uh, I select XVID. You can choose um, anyone you like, but I recommend XVID or H.264, but I already have that, so that'll be quite a waste for my FFD show thing. So now, yeah, after you, my audio is name MP3, uh, you have to download that free as well. So my container is MP4, my MP4 because of, because it, MP4s are normally high quality, but you could choose really. Now this year, uh, for my recordings, I do 320 by 240, which will change the rate, the size of it. Now I am going to change it to 640. Actually, I'm going to turn it off for now because of um, last time. It really, if you change the size of it, what if your video is like 640 by 480 and you change it to this, the video video will look sc scrunched up and bad quality so try to keep it nearest but for my recordings by 500 by 440 I recommend that also since I'm doing fi 50 frame rates a second uh, I would recommend uh, cutting out cutting it down by half because well it's just a bit of waste but if you do it if you record by 25 frames then it's a bit you know not so smooth and cause and I'm gonna get rid of you cause uh widescreen is a bit uh, bad so uh, my sound uh, all this stuff yeah it's not really necessary you could tamper with it if you like okay now I am going and then you once you get your settings ready uh, press start okay this shouldn't take the long uh, maximum it should do if it's a 10 minute video four to five minutes I'm gonna pause here and show you when it's done Okay, once it's done, um, it should give you a message like this. Now, this is the original file's um, size, and this is what it's turned into. Quite uh, small, actually. Quite small compared to that. And it tells you, you know how long it is. It doesn't tell you in minutes, but if you know your, you know, sixties, then you should know because sixties a minute. So, okay. Now, now let me show you video quality for my original video is uh... Oh, I hope it pops up yeah this takes a while because I'm using the laptop okay today I'm going to show you how I this do my test recording, recording as you see and you can do this by, by using some uh, screen okay see that quality and let's show you this quality Oh yeah, if you're converting today, it to I'm going to show you how I do my recording. Uh, if you're converting with uh, MP4s or anything else that your computer doesn't handle it because it doesn't know how to play them because it's unrecognizable. So I get VC VLC player, which plays quite a lot of uh, f videos. So um, as you can see again, look, it's still top quality. And you can do and this it by, keeps its by using size. some uh, screen capture software. There are and that's all there is to it, really. Then, yeah, all I do is go to YouTube. And then I go to Upload. And then just, well, name it, stuff, Upload. And then it should be done. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, comment or send me a message. I will answer them as best I can. I uh, hope this helped you. Bye.